Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. Um, I haven't done the December readings just yet, but I thought I would share um, something quite special with you. Um, it's regarding um, tarot and the world of fashion. So as you, as you know, or if you know me quite well, um, I love following fashion and I also love haute couture runway shows. Um, I've got lots of favorite designers. My, my favorite designer is um, definitely Alexander McQueen. But if you um, love fashion, you'll obviously admire so many other designers. They're all beautiful and none other than Christian Dior. Now, this video, I'm going to just quickly let you know that um, a couple of years ago, there was uh, a collection that Dior released um, by creative director Maria Grazia Chichuri. Um, and she is the creative director of Christian Dior. Now, she was obviously quite close to Christian Dior, and she also wanted to uh, pay homage to Christian Dior's um, fascination with tarot. Because before every runway show, he would get a tarot reading. And as part of that reading, that would determine his um, you know, feelings on how the, the outcome of the show would, would eventuate. So it's it's a quite an interesting, um, you know, uh, as I said, homage to Christian Dior. But look, these illustrations that I'm about to show you um, are featured in this little um, souvenir I have here. And this was from the, 20, uh, as I said, 2017 collection, um, where, as I said, she had um, her first go round with tarot um, and it featured a, a suite of sheer, uh, evening gowns that were sort of embroidered with um, these images that you're about to see in this notebook. Now, obviously, um, I can't afford <laughs> Dior Haute Couture gowns, but they're absolutely beautiful. Um, and they were also featured on some evening uh, hand uh, bags as well. And I believe you can still buy them on the Dior site um, as part of the collection that's still, you know, they still obviously have stock of it. Um, and you can also get some uh, really beautiful silk scarves as well. I believe um, Vivian Westwood is also doing the silk scarves also, but um, the Dior site, Dior.com, will have, um, you'll be able to see the Wheel of Fortune. And there's a couple of the other designs that are featured on um, their accessories. But look, this year uh, in 2021, it kicked off with um, another um, collection from Maria. Um, as I said, this, this collection was the 2017, but I also wanted to mention that this spring uh, for 2021, she launched uh, another collection of beautiful gowns. And um, it also featured a 15 minute video or cinematic um, movie, which um, she collaborated with a director called Matteo Garone. And it basically is an ode to the 78 cards in the tarot deck. Um, and we sort of start the video. I'll leave the link to the video below so you can see this movie. And it, as I said, it's about 15 minutes and it's absolutely stunning. Um, it starts off with this uh, young woman sitting for a tarot reading in a classic Dior bar jacket. Um, and she draws the High Priestess card which guides her through on this voyage of the mind through um, the arabesque halls of this Moorish revival palazzo. And it's there she encounters in characters drawn from the deck and brought to life with majestic um, couture outfits. The justice and the fall to more uh, esoteric misunderstood cards like the devil and the death, protagonist of the fashion film embarks on a journey of self-discovery and self-acceptance clad in otherworldly couture. Um, watch the film first um, and then you can study each card, at, you know, as you go through the meanings of those cards. If you're interested in getting to learn tarot and understanding what those major archetypes um, they embody. Um, so, look, I'll just get started and talk about this souvenir that I do have, because, as I said, I don't have the gowns. And I will leave the 2021 video link below so you can actually watch that because it is really, really beautiful. But this little notebook here, I actually got from a collector in Japan. So the um, the imagery or the, the writing inside of this notebook um, is in kanji and the descriptions of these major arcana are all in French. So this is the cover and the cover features Le Monde, which is the world. So this is the Dior 2017 illustration uh, from the world collection, which is just beautiful. 
I'm just going to flip through the book and show you um, the quality. It's a gorgeous little notebook. And look, you, you know, all of the designers put out stationery every year. This is nothing new, but um, they also, uh, this particular collection also released an actual set of 2017 Christian Dior tarot cards. They're extremely rare. They usually sell for around $1,000, um, depending on where you find them. If they do pop up on eBay or, you know, uh, an auction site, you might be lucky enough to get your hands on them. And they are actually circular, which is quite interesting, quite similar to the tea leaf cards um, that I've got over here. But anyway, um, I don't have the tarot deck itself, so I'm just going to take you through what the illustrations are in this book. Inside here, we've got uh, just a seamless pattern and a little intro page of all the little cards that are featured as part of uh, this notebook. They do run in the order of the Major Arcana. However, it starts with the Magician, um, and this is the Magician card. Uh, but you would think that it would start with the Fool, but the Fool actually features at the end of this uh, notebook. So we'll get to him in the end. So I'll just show you the, the beautiful illustrations of the Fool card here. Uh, featuring, um, you know, classic interpretations of the uh, the Fertilise, which is a, an iconic French uh, emblem. And then we have the High Priestess, which is also known as the Female Pope, or Le Pepis, which is just beautiful. I mean, these drawings are just gorgeous. Um, I'm quite certain, I believe, Maria... Uh, Gracia, Grazia, she actually drew these because um, these are the images that are featured on the on the gowns and also on the accessories that you can still um, get today if you're lucky and you can find them online. This is the Empress card, the interpretation of the Empress. And then we have the Emperor, Le Emperor. You can see here he's also holding a, a Dior Looks like a Dior perfume bottle, but I think it's the Dior, like an apple. And he's also got cloves on his on his uh, gown here, three uh, lucky clover, three petals, and there's a bee that features here as well. And look, as I said, I'm not going to go into huge deep deep dive meanings into all of these cards but if you love tarot you'll just appreciate the illustrations and then we have the Pope also known as the Hierophant card and this is very similar to the original Rider Waite inspiration with he's sitting between the two pillars uh, again there's a bee motif here which was featured and you know the bees have always been associated with royalty and then we have the number six card, which is La Amoureux, which is French for the lovers. So this is card number six in the Major Arcana. Again, these are really beautiful. Um, I'm not going to be obviously writing in this book. I just want to keep it for, for keepsake. Then we have the chariot, card number seven. And again, you know, this lucky three-leaf clover uh, also features... And there's a, a – Dior used to have, as I said, he used to get his tarot cards read uh, before every runway show. And he also loved the uh, – I read somewhere the, uh, you know, the, 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 the idea of the chance, you know, the, the opportunity of, of good fortune. And he always used to say something like, um, you know, it was good, a good chance, you know, you were going to be lucky – you uh, ever received one of these gowns they would always be filled with luck and good fortune which is I believe why the uh, three-leaf clover is um, featured in the drawings it's sort of a nod to his um, you know his obsession with fortune and luck um, and then we have the justice card here which is quite an unusual image for the justice card but it still does feature the um, the scales and the hand, you know, there's always a hand with the cloud here that's coming down from above and caressing, again, another bee on the bottom, this bee motif here. So this is a justice card. And what do we have next? We have the hermit. This is also so sweet. Carrying his lanterns. He's got his grey cloak on. 
bearded man. And the eight of the infinity also features here as well. It's a minor kind of detail on this drawing, which is really beautiful. Just the card of Virgo. And then we have La Rue de la Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune. So there's lots of elements in here as well. It features a snake hearts, a monkey, Christian Dior motifs in here, snakes, skulls, the bee, a heart. Oh, it looks like a planchette, actually, a planchette with an eye. So there, there, that's the Wheel of Fortune, and keep going. We have La Force, which is the strength card. And that's featuring a lion, which is true to the Rider weight. That's the original interpretation of the maiden taming the beast. And number nine, Le Pendu, which is the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man also features in the 2021 uh, cinematic uh, collaboration that she did. Uh, with the film for the 2021 collection um, and it's showing the fact that you know the the protagonist in the movie follows the fool who weaves her and and, and guides her through the the different rooms through this beautiful um, chateau but the hanged man is always to give you this new direction a new perspective um, you know there are many paths you can take but when you come across the hanged man it's, it's being able to show you uh, a new perspective and then we have the death card here. La Arcane says nom. Because again, my French is terrible. And then we have the Temperance card. And the Temperance is also featured in the 2021 video. Um, but these are the, as I said, these are the 2017 drawings. You can see the water in the jug is still being poured to find patience and moderation. It's our Tempest card, the card of Sagittarius. And then we have Le Diable, which is the devil. Um, and this is on purses as well. These are part of the accessory collection. Um, I'll see if I can try and find those images as well. So you have the devil card here. The devil motif, and that was also on one of the gowns. There was a beautiful gown that was featured, and um, you know, on the runway for that 2017 show. And we have La Tour, which is the tower. I mean, one day I would love to have my hands on this uh, tarot deck itself, it would be beautiful. And we have the star. Is just gorgeous. And we're coming to towards the end. And we have La Lune, which is pretty obvious, the moon. And then we have this gorgeous image as well, the sun. That's part of that. Card of Leo, and then we have Le Judgment, which is the card of resurrection, card number 20. This always is uh, indicative of your true calling and what you're supposed to be doing with your life when this card appears. And it's also a card where you can, um, you know, turn back the hands of time. It's almost like a second chance card. It's a card where you can reflect on where you were 20 years ago and have a think about where you are now in relation to that um, and what lessons you may not have been able to achieve back then you can actually have an opportunity to do now and then last second to last uh, we have the Le Monde which is obviously the world which is the same design that's on the cover you should have seen that one already and then last but not least I believe 
is the full, which is La Mat. Okay, so we've got the dog and he's got his, he's on his journey, he's following the bee, he's holding the, the, the wildflower in his hand as well. Um, oh, actually, in this instance, it's actually not a dog, it looks like a cat. But in the right of weight, it's a dog, so I think he's bringing in a feminine a feminine aspect here with his still, you know, on the precipice of the cliff, about to take off that innocence. Um, and then I think there's, there's another little notebook image at the end, and then there's almost like a glossary at the end as well, where with highlights the clutch bags because it says the cut the clutch here, the clutch collection. So the cl the clutch collection features the magician, the high priestess, the empress, the lover, the justice, the wheel of fortune, the devil, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the fall. But if you turn them this way, that's the the clutch itself, and you can sort of see there's a little clasp on the top here of these clutches, and they're in you know, CD for Christian Dior. But as I said, I'll try and find some of these images as well and send it, um, share them on Instagram. And that's it, and that's the back cover. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was something a little bit different. I do have always, I'm always collecting little bits and pieces. Um, based on my interest and my passions. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the um, the feature film for the 2021 collection. It is absolutely beautiful. You won't regret it. Um, and also, as usual, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I normally do monthly sun sign predictions on YouTube. Um, and so I hope to see you for the December readings. If you haven't already, check out your November readings. They're already up. So you can watch them as well. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.